Have you ever been asked this question? How long will it last? Yes, of course. We are left wondering what answer to give when a patient asks us how long will a crown or a restoration last. And friends, this is where biomimetic dentistry comes into the picture. Bio is, of course, biology and mimic is copy. Remember, God has designed the human tooth to last not for decades, but for centuries. Then why do we wonder how long will our restorations last? If we were to copy and mimic nature into our restorations, logic says, if the tooth survives for so long, my restoration should also survive for as long. Biomimetic dentistry says, use an enamel-like material to replace enamel, use a dentin-like material to replace dentin. What are the features of enamel? Enamel is hard, it is inorganic, but it is brittle. Do we have a material in dentistry similar to this? And the answer is yes, lithium disilicate or glass ceramic. On the other hand, when I talk about dentin, dentin, remember, is soft, it is weak, it bends, it does not have as much wear resistance. What is a material that I have in dentistry that mimics dentin? The answer is composite. Now, remember in nature, enamel and dentin are bonded to each other and they're held very strong because of the dentino-enamel junction. Similarly, when I have ceramic on top and I have composite at the bottom, the bond between these two is achieved with the help of my bonding resin, which mimics my DEJ. So glass ceramic is an ideal replacement for enamel. Composite is an ideal replacement for dentin and my bonding agent creates my dentino-enamel junction. This is where biomimetic dentistry says, if you were to bring these materials into union, like how nature has designed, your restorations, which are usually partially bonded, will also survive for a really long time. Start using bonded principles with partial adhesive dentistry and you and your patients will be very, very happy. In the comment section, please give me what is your take on the use of the extremely hard and extremely solid zirconium dye Oxide. How often do you use zirconia in your practice? Because that is the topic of my next tipsy Tuesday.